Hey guys, welcome back. I am very excited about today. As you can tell, it is dark behind me and I am also on a little panga. So today we're taking this little panga out and we're gonna try to find some mahi. Today the goal is mahi. Mahi is this fish right there on my shirt. So I'm really excited to go after it. The first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna jig up some bait. We want some live bait. So we're gonna go right up here. We're right by town. We're gonna shine lights down into the water and then we're just gonna jig down some sabikis with some golden hooks and they'll glimmer in the light and they should be able to pick us up some herring and basically yesterday i was fishing out here on the kayak and tosh and i hooked a mahi four different times and it jumped every single time and spit the hook and the day before that I was on this same panga and we also hooked the mahi and it also jumped and also spit the hook so we know they're around they're definitely in the gulf now and today we're just gonna try to target them we got a couple of nice heavy rods with us and we're probably gonna go for tuna as well probably chasing ballyhoo and the currents that the mahi like to hide out in so that'll be exciting stay tuned for that but first let's get some bait all right we're gonna try to catch some bait this is what we're using this is a sabiki it's a homemade sabiki though so it's just got the little golden hooks right there and these are enough to catch fish basically these will shine in the light it's important that they're golden and then these herring will come and bite them hopefully get hooked so let's see if there's some herring down here we only need a couple and then we'll put them in the live well and we will be heading far out to where the mahi and the tuna are there we go there's our live bait i'm gonna keep dropping this down we need a couple more but see they're just coming right up to the boat because they're attracted to the light so we're just picking them up right here there we go another one nice important to not handle those guys very much so handle them as little as possible just because they are kind of fragile and you want them in the best shape possible so this is all i'm doing to catch them i'm just putting this down right where the light is and then uh letting it sink just a little bit they're at the surface though so not a lot and now i'm just gonna give it a couple of pops one two short pops I don't want to move it too much and I'm just going to let it sit there. Keep popping it. There we go. See? Easy, easy bait. And here's a herring. So I'm just going to keep picking up some bait. We want five, seven more of these and then we'll head out for the mahi and the tuna. All right, we got our bait. We got a good amount of herring. We're going to head over to deeper water now. If you look at the map right now, we're inside the Gulf, Gulf of Dulce in the Osa Peninsula. And we're going to head into pacific ocean let's find some fish all right we made it to the spot look at this sun is rising right here over osa peninsula southwestern costa rica and we are about to start fishing so the mahi is a fish that likes to hit when the sun comes out and it's not fully out so what we're gonna do right now is we're gonna drop down some jigs to see if we can find some yellowfin tuna and this is the jig that i'm dropping down you can see it's got a lot of nice color to it probably around an ounce and a half two ounces and i'll just drop it down and i'll show you exactly what i'm gonna do back there you can see he's setting up a heavier rod he's gonna send that down with a heavy sinker and one of the live herring that we caught just gonna send it all the way to the bottom and hopefully catch something big down there let's start jigging so this is what i'm gonna do i got my jig here i'm gonna just flick it right out here i'm gonna let this thing sink all the way down and it's about 30 meters here now once it's down there i'll give it a couple of pops just to hit the bottom a couple of times you know sometimes that will trigger a snapper down there so always good to try it out and then i'm gonna start jigging it up so i'm just gonna pump it up and reel and then hopefully a tuna will see this and just come slam it you'll see this is a pretty light rod so if a tuna hits this it's gonna just explode it'll start screaming like crazy and we'll have a fish on so right now i'm just gonna repeat this process over and over until we're hooked up <laughs> fish on yeah. gopro start recording yep there we go already got a fish this was my second drop and we're on let's see what this is second drop of the jig this is not fighting very hard could be a tuna though but literally the second jig drop 
and I'm hooked up. You can see I was just jigging it very fast. Tuna are an extremely fast species of fish. You can't really jig too fast for them. They will catch up to your lure, they will hit it. And I'm just pumping this guy up, getting him up right here. I'm gonna get him next to the boat and we'll get him up. First fish of the day. I see him, I see him. Um, let's see what it is though. Got the gaff ready. Uh, tuna amarillo. A tuna amarillo, that's a yellowfin tuna. Nice. Yeah, there you go. See, that's a good tuna run. See, the second I got it up and it was very close to the boat, it just decided to go back down. Oh, and he's on on the heavy rod. He's on on the heavy rod. Oh my god, he's on the live bait. He's on the live bait. Here, we're gonna try to get this off. He's on the live bait though, so whatever he got down there has to be a good size. He's gonna fight it, so we're hooked up. Double hook up right now. One of them is a tuna, and the other one we are just not sure, but it took a live bait at the bottom, 120 feet down, so it's probably big. And here goes my tuna. Oh, this guy is strong. Here comes the tuna. Let's gaff him. Nice. Bien gafado también. Bien gafado. Oh. Oh. Okay. Should have got him in the oh. boat. Should have got him in the boat. Round two. There we go. We got him. Here's our tuna. Look at that fish. Beautiful, beautiful fish. Wow. Yellowfin tuna, baby. And it's the first one of the day. Let's get this jig off. We're going to bleed him really fast because we want that meat to be nice and white. If you bleed him right away, that meat will be higher quality. So let's get the jig out, bleed him, and we'll keep jigging, see if we can hook back up. And this is what we got on the live bait. That was another tuna. Another nice tuna on the live bait. You can see he's holding it upside down. And the reason is, if he holds it upside down, that tuna will not kick. It's immobilized. Great fish. Let's keep fishing. Let's see. Let's pick up second tuna for me and third for the boat. And we're just getting started. See if we can get that one. So one very important thing right now, you can see we're washing the blood off the deck and it's because tuna blood and blood in general is just extremely slippery. So with a lot of hooks around, make sure your deck is very, very nice and clean. Oh, la la, look at this. He's got a fish. He's got a fish. Gotta be a good tuna. That's a good tuna. Oh, it's off. That was a good fish, but it just got off. Literally, probably 30 feet down. So let's see. Just keep jigging. We'll hook up again. Yep, fish on. That's a fish. That's a fish. That's a tuna, for sure. I can see those head shakes. This guy hit pretty deep, so it's good to have good communication because uh, right now, you know, if I hit a tuna deep, everyone's just gonna drop their jigs down deep and then we have much better odds of hooking up. Oh, I gotta be careful. I forgot there was a anchor rope. Gotta be mindful. I'm gonna land on 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 this side. And two to number two, baby. Nice. There's our fish. Very very nice. Let's bleed him and keep jigging. And you can see the sun is just starting to come up right now as we're jigging. Such a beautiful place to be catching yellowfin tuna. Just look at this. Golfo dulce right now. This is the Osa Peninsula, and out there, Pacific Ocean. Oh, Dorado, wait! Dorado! Dorado! Huevon! Pelelo, ustedes are... We're on a Dorado. We're on a Mahi. We're on a Mahi. It just jumped. There it is. There it is. There it is. It's coming. First Mahi of the day. We thought it was a tuna. We thought it was a tuna. Here it comes. Let's see. Oh, big jump over there. Dorado will jump the second they hit. And we saw this guy jump twice, but it looks like he's hooked well. These guys are hard to keep on the line. Good fish, good fish. That's a good mahi mahi. That's what we came for. That's the fish we're looking for right there. And they're extremely fast, extremely agile, extremely beautiful as well. What a pretty fish. But they call them the rabbits of the ocean 
because they reproduce very very fast and they also grow very very fast but they are extremely fast extremely acrobatic extremely strong and boom on the live bait baby all right let's see if we can get him up let's see if we can get him up here it comes here it comes here it comes Look at this fish. Look at that fish. Wow, mahi mahi. He's gonna help me get him up right now. Let's see, can he gaff it? Oh, he got it. He got it. Wow. Nice. That's a big Dorado. Look at this. Wow. Look at this fish. What a nice fish. Wow, 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 wow. And just look at the colors on this fish. This is a Dorado. This is a Mahi Mahi or dolphin fish. A lot of different names, but just look at this fish. It's so beautiful. Wow, 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 wow. Great catch. Let's get this guy in the cooler. See if we can catch another one and see if we can keep catching these tuna. What a good catch. And that is exactly, exactly what we came for. So you can see this is the Dorado we just caught and it's been dead for like 10 minutes now and you can see it lost. It has lost most of its color, so Dorado does that. It's a very, very bright colored fish, but then when it dies, it loses all of that pigment. And now you can see it's much lighter and you can see those blue spots, but it's not nearly as green or yellow, so very interesting. Oh, and he just hooked up and lost it. Oof. All right, well, we're gonna keep fishing. I might have a fish on. This is just heavy. Oh no, this is a fish. That's a fish, yeah. I don't even know. I didn't even notice this guy hit. It was, it, I think it just hit on the way down. This could be a different fish. It, not necessarily a tuna. It doesn't feel like a tuna. But we do have some head shakes. So that's kind of typical of a tuna. The fast head shakes. They come with vibrations. Let's see. I can see it. It might be a tuna. This is a bonita. Yeah. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. Look at this. This is a bonita. So it's like a tuna, it's same family. Let's get him de hooked. Fish on. Fish on. There we go. There's another one. There's another fish. There's another tuna. I'm getting them. I, I just lost one on the last drop. Dropped it again, and we're on. Nice. This is this has got to be a yellowfin tuna. That was a good run. Yeah, look at this. Good fish. Good fish. Good fish. But just gonna slowly get him up. This is a heavy fish. This is a heavier one. There he goes. Look at that. Ooh, look at that. Ooh. Good tuna. Good, good, good tuna. Or whatever it is. It is heavy. Ooh. Look at that rod bend. This could be something else. This is a big fish. Yeah, this is definitely a big, big tuna, we think. That is, our best guess right now is big yellowfin tuna. So I just gotta tire him because it, when he comes up to the boat, he's just gonna take off anyways. So gotta tire him as much as possible. The good thing about tuna though, is that their blood heats up fast. So they'll usually take two or three runs on you. And then they'll be tired and you can just kind of haul them up. But those two or three runs that they take are strong, strong runs. You can see tuna is an extremely streamlined fish. So when they need to go fast, they just tuck their fins in to their sides and then they're shaped like a bullet. So they just fly through the water and cut straight through it. Putting this rod up to the sky and then reeling down nice and slow keep this tuna's head up if it points its head down it's got its body facing the way it wants to run it wants to run down but if i have its head up its body is just completely facing upward so it can't it can't run anywhere it has no force so if i keep his head up i'm winning this battle fast no no oh, it got off yep it got off oh my god and it was close it was so close that was a big one that was a big tuna all right i'm gonna try to get another one that is painful that was a good one 
En Colombia en Mira, creo que se me pegó algo. Que se roban. Se lo roban en plan. Yep, fish on. Yeah, it was on on the drop. It was on on the drop. I knew it. Es un amarillo, eh. I knew it. It was on on the drop. You see my 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 spool was uh going off, but the jig was dropping and then it started speeding up suddenly. So when that happens, it's because it got hit on the way down and I knew it. I all I had to do was close the bail and then we were hooked up. <laughs> Been a while, a short while since we hooked up our last tuna. So you just keep jigging and every once in a while they'll come through and they'll hit. Oh God, he's on on the little rod. He's on on the little rod. Damn, yeah, something just took his bait. He dropped like two whole sardines down there and something just took it. Here it comes, here it comes, I see him. That's a, oh yeah, good gaff, good gaff. This is not a yellow fin. This is a black tuna. Very, very nice black tuna. Look how he's holding it so that it's immobilized. Very nice. Let's get him in the cooler and keep jigging. Yeah, fish on. GoPro, start recording. Yeah, oh, this is a yellow fin. This has got to be a yellow fin. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. Right after I got that black tuna as well. Yup, 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 yup. Music to my ears, baby. Music to my ears. Come on up. This is a good one as well. Oh yeah. No, this is definitely a good one. Oof, big runs, big runs. All right, yeah, we see him. Yeah, that's a yellow fin. Good yellow fin. And gaff, very nice. That's even better. Woo, and another yellow fin, baby. Nice. Let's keep jigging. Doesn't look like more tuna want to hit. So we're going to move on, try another style of fishing. We're going to try trolling. Basically, now the goal is to try to pick up another mahi mahi. Let's get set up and let's get going. So we're going to be throwing some lures. This is the first one I'm going to throw. Nice little Rapala, it dives a little bit. You can see the lip on it is angled down. So that little bit of a dive should put us in the strike zone with some tuna and mahi, hopefully. Nice. All right, he's on. That little rod is on. That little red rod is on. We're gonna reel these, these lines in. Oh, he's on as well. He's on too, double hookup. Double hookup, pedalo, pedalo. Oh, I'm on, I'm on. Fish on, fish on, triple hookup, triple hookup. Boom, it looks like we just went through a school of something. Look at the scenes. Three hookups right now, in an instant. Oh, good fish, good fish, look at that. Both of them are taking drag. It's like they're synchronized. Oh, gotta be careful, because that thing is going behind the motor, the other one on the big rod and this one is just taking straight off let's see how many we can land right now we have three hooked up let's see what we get out of three i'm just hoping this rod and his rod are not tied up i'm pretty sure mine is free we can see him yeah they're definitely a little tangled up though yeah they're tangled up so so we gotta tire them out look at that there, there's a tuna right there we're trying to just oh that's one all right no worries no worries one off but let's see if we can land the other two here here comes one there we go that's one tuna in if we can entangle this then we can land this fish nice nice yep and i'm still on very nice let's see i give you an idea and here it is here it is boom Muy bien, bros. Great gaff. This guy is good at gaffing. And look at that. Just landed triple hookup and we got two out of three on the deck. That is pretty good. It's a Torre Eiffel, wey. It's like this. It's a Torre Eiffel. It's a Torre Eiffel. Fish on. Oh, I... There we go. There we go. 
Oh, I think it's off. Yeah, it's off. It just got off. Ah, uh, looks like that was another tuna. Oh, fish on. I'm on. I'm on. See? There we go. Yeah, I had a feeling that would happen. I had a feeling that would happen. If you just keep reeling and there's a school there, that's what will happen. Even if he gets off, just keep reeling a little bit. If you're using bait and the fish gets off, leave your bait there. If you're using a lure and the fish gets off, kind of twitch it a bit, you can reel it a bit, and then it might come back. Yellowfin tuna. Nice. Oh, he, he's barely hooked, barely hooked, barely hooked. There we go. Oh, what a good gap. What a good gap job. And let's keep trolling, baby. Look at all those rays jumping. Look at all those stingrays. We have three stingrays jumping over there, three stingrays jumping over there. One just had a big splash over here. There's just stingrays everywhere. It's amazing how much life this place has and just how many stingrays are always jumping. Oh, look, right under us. Mira, mira, mira. Ahí van, ahí van nadando. Ve, 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 ve. Fíjense abajo del bote. Look at all these rays. Look at the rays. They're swimming right under us. Wow. So right now we're looking for mahi, or we've been looking for mahi all day, but really it doesn't seem like there's a lot of them. We hooked out one in the morning, we landed it, so that's great. But usually when there's mahi, you'll see them moving around in the currents, and then just by being out here and keeping an eye out, you'll see them hitting other stuff. But we're just gonna continue trolling, see if we can pick up more tuna, and then you never know. You know that mahi hit in the morning, and they will readily hit a Rapala or anything that you're trolling back there. So still got a good shot. He's on another fish right now. We are jigging and this is a good fish. Look at that. Look at that. Very nice. He hit it right on the bottom and is fighting kind of weird. So I'm kind of excited to see it, but he's fighting it great. Let's see when it comes up. And there we go. Very nice. Very nice. That's a good one. We're going to sit here a bit and just jig. See if we can pull up another. And he's on again. You hear that fish on? There we go. It's coming up. Looks like it's a bonita. That is a bonita. He's gonna flip it. One, two. Whoa, flip. Nice. Very nice. That's another one. Look at this. This is actually, I was wrong. This is not a bonita. This is a dog tooth tuna. So very, very cool. We got another tuna species today. We're getting multiple species of tuna today. We got three. We got yellowfin, dog tooth tuna, and the black tuna. All right, that is it. We are gonna head back. Basically what happened here is we've been fishing a while. We had a really, really good day. But if you can see, there's not many clouds in the sky. The sun is scorching. And what that does is it usually drives the fish deeper. They don't hang out at the surface as much. So trolling isn't as effective. We were jigging for a while more, but nothing. And honestly, we got enough fish. So we're gonna head home. Let me introduce you right now to Cesar though. He's sitting right behind me. If you guys come down, to Puerto Jimenez or you find yourself on Costa Rica's Pacific side, I'm gonna leave all of his information down in the description below. He's super helpful, super knowledgeable. He's been fishing this area for 30 years. He knows it just like the back of his hand. Guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, please like it, comment, share it, subscribe. And until next time, tight lines.